Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Another episode of the Unlaced Podcast. Uh, just want to thank you all for coming if, along. If you are new here, please give us a like and subscribe. It's how we grow. And if you've come back, as I always say, I absolutely love you. The heartbeat of the podcast. Um, geez, this man, he's been on before. He is a fan of the show as well, but he's come back a bit of it. He's come back a bit of a different human, a different beast. <laughs> and we're going to go right into it. But he has, as his Instagram will say, he has been pigeonholed <laughs> into a runner, which is quite funny. But Louis Phillips, mate. Thank you for coming on. Mate, thank you for having me. I uh, this is a new setup to when I was on last. <laughs> I know, and it's a pleasure to be here. This is this is very cool. Uh, you're giving me a lot of ideas for my oh really? My podcast. Oh yeah, yeah, mate. This mobile mobile movement, the way to mobile go. Mobile movement is the way. You just rock up. Yeah, you jump just, in, have a chat, and get out. Just rattle everyone's cages. Yeah, yeah it's it's fun. Nah. It's really good actually. But um, <laughs> mate, last time we had you on, I'm just trying to gather like where you were at in life because yeah. I want to just kind of talk about this journey from there to now. I think you obviously you and Gabe, you still do nine to five fitness, which is flying but that was sort of I wouldn't say it was in its early stage but you guys were starting to get some real momentum back mm. then in regards to like solo content were you making a lot of it um back then when we spoke probably? um not really yeah so i had had nine to five um and was ticking over with that and it was really kind of picking up especially when i went came on the unlaced podcast last time through nine to five and doing things like that really helped lift it yeah um i think at that point i was starting to find my feet and find my own voice um but like i wasn't making that much of my own content I've mm. really kind of stuck to this like footy slash bodybuilder thing. Um, and it just didn't really suit me. So, yeah. you know, in the, in the last couple of months, I, I found my feet with the running stuff and, and that's going pretty well. <laughs> I found your feet. Well, <laughs> we're going to, we're going to go into it, but like, what have you been up to anyway? How's life? You're doing well? Mate, life, life's great. Yeah. Things, nothing, nothing really to report. Just like running <laughs> like a madman. Cause as I, as you said, like being pigeonholed into being a runner. So I'm just trying to run lots yeah. um, and running can get a little bit boring, but trying to make it fun. Well, it's crazy. Cause like for those that, that don't know, Louis Phillips' story of over the last few months. So I feel like, and this is reward as well, because I feel like the content you were doing on running before you had this big spurt and followers, which you'll tap into, you were kind of already putting, whether it wasn't consistent, you were already putting out that content anyway. Because I remember seeing you going on runs yeah. and be putting up like little reviews of like, you know, your 5Ks, your 10Ks and stuff. Yeah. So you're already doing some of that stuff, weren't you? Yeah, exactly. And that's why like I was so perplexed by the, the you know, blow up in followers and stuff. It's like, I've been producing this content for the last two years like where have you all been like i've been here well you know why has it taken till now but yeah. you know a few slight changes and um adjustments to my content really kind of helped that and then also like the vulnerability aspect being yeah. like i really don't want to run or I'm, I'm not feeling great but i'm going to get out and do it yeah. um seems to resonate with a lot of people well but the thing is is like you can't really fake that and the problem the reason why i say that is because everyone feels that yeah <laughs> so everyone can relate because no one will, like everyone most people hate exercise when you don't have to like play especially running and and what i've found is there's a huge amount of trauma linked with running like i mean you know it from your, <laughs> yeah, your soccer I, days man, i haven't been on a run all year you're like terrified of terrified. it because you know you probably connect it to the beat test or to two k's oh. <laughs> like things like that and that's everyone who went to you know a school in australia did the beat test like oh. the the correlation between those two is, is very like obvious. Mm. So the the content that I've been making is like, nah, it's it's not like that. Like look at running as like a reward. It, it's really enjoyable. You know, I've got a huge day today and, and like after this podcast, I've got to fit in a run to make sure that I have enough energy for the rest of the day. Like you can really utilize it to your, right. your life. So do you find that you you get more productive? I mean, naturally after exercise in general, but with running, you find you get more productivity, more alertness yeah. after it? hundred oh, percent, like no doubt. And I mean, you'd think that if you go for a 10K, 20K, 30K run, like you're going to be gassed for the rest of the day but you're running on endorphins yeah like it's literally like you've had a banned substance do you <laughs> do you find now because what, what did you go what, where were you at let's just go from the follow the instagram yeah. followers point of view because you you were already quite big on tiktok you and gabe at nine to five fitness was already doing big things you had quite a big following on instagram in my opinion but now it's kind of like you've got me, you've had mega growth in a sense yeah. so where were you at and where are you at now i mean last time i was on this podcast i was probably at like 8k <laughs> 10, 10k on instagram um and as of three months Months ago, I was probably on about 15, 14K. Um, at the time of recording, on about 202,000 followers. That is insane. Instagram, which is crazy. That um, is insane. Dude. But it, it's more the impact is, is like what I'm more concerned about. Like I get messages all the time from people saying, you know, sending me their, their Strava, sending me like so many motivational things. And like the impact is what I'm, I'm really proud of. Is that, is that the 
those messages, is that a lot of that separate from say the running programs you're putting out mm. where people just sending you their runs because they went on a run, like yeah. to say, yeah, I did it too. Like, thank you. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's, there's, there's two of those. So people doing like the, the programming that I put out or like people just randomly sending their runs. But like, that's a great point. The programs have been like, I found with this, with the running stuff, if I just pump out free advice, just like pump out as much free stuff as possible. Mm. Good things will happen. Mm. Good things will come. So from the start, I've said like, I'm not charging for programs. I'm just going to like put something out there. It's called Sunday run. People will sign up, put their emails in every Sunday. I'll send them a running program and they All just right. get to do that program throughout the week, creates accountability and they just come back the next week. Same with the content, like heaps of free tips, heaps of free advice. And that's just generated the following. So that's wow. what it's been. What's the, uh, what's the demographic been that of your time? Cause I know there's been a few single mums, oh, mate. mums in general, mums which just, is, which yeah. is really odd. Cause I mean, I mean, you're a good looking lad, but I just would have thought maybe a younger demographic would have been. You think so? <laughs> you know what I think? I think it's the moustache. Like <laughs> I think it's giving off dad energy. So <laughs> dad energy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think that's what it is. But yeah, mate. So my, so nine to five. Hugely like 14 through to maybe 22, like demographic, yeah? yeah? My running content, like, well, yeah, kind of like 18 through to like 50, 60. Wow, you know? that's amazing. And, and a real kind of concentration in in mums is what I've found. But I think they're just the loudest. Like they, they just say it the loudest, yeah. you know? So I don't know if they're, you know, dominating the kind of numbers side, but they're very loud about it. They send me a lot of DMs and, and they love to update me on how their running's oh going, which is God. fantastic. So you, when you, when you do your runs, like when you sort of started out, like how long have you been doing these set runs? Cause you obviously play footy. Mm. So you would have always been doing runs, but in regards to like from a lifestyle basis, cause I always associate when you go on runs, you, for, for me anyway, it's associating it to performance for yeah. sport with you. Now it's kind of like, it's, well, this is a it's business. Right. This is an identity yeah. now. When did it trigger into that? So, I mean, it, it all started for me. I, I started, I was like, bugger, I want to get back to running a sub 20 minute 5K. And it was mainly for footy, but just like for for the, my own feeling and, and mental health. So I love like the challenge of trying to run a sub 20 minute 5K. It's a really difficult distance and it just like is a grind. Yeah. So I started recording that and that was like the beginning of the content where it started really taking off. So um, yeah, sub 20 minute 5K, that was the goal. Now it's just like, I guess I'm training for a marathon. Like I, I'll, I will run a marathon in the, in the next couple of weeks and like it'll, it's, it's become part of my identity, but I'm just running for feeling good really. Do you, do you, does that, do you have any fear towards a marathon? No, not really. I did 30 Ks the other day and like as far as I've run and it's, it's fine. It's, it's all mental. It like, is man. I literally just told myself for the whole week, I'm going to run 30 Ks on Saturday. Do you know? Uh, like, yeah. Did it. That's amazing. Cause I, the most I've ever run distance wise was 31 and mm. I, when I was in a bit of a running phase as well. And I like did no training in regards to other than just straight line running. Yeah. And man, mentally I felt okay, but physically I couldn't lift my legs. Yeah. You'd and, be cooked. And then I, but I spoke to a guy who does ultra like marathons and all this sort of stuff. He's like, man, you need to have leg strength. Like yeah. you need to go to the gym exactly. or you need to do some hill runs and stuff like that. I yeah. thought that was interesting because I, I would never have even thought of that. Absolutely. And like, you know, you look at the quintessential runner's physique, like Kipchoge, for instance, who ran like a sub two hour <laughs> Mate, marathon. What or the fuck was that? <laughs> like ridiculous. But like, you know, he's built like a whippet. Like yeah. I do not want to look like that whatsoever. Yeah. But you know, you don't have to like not go to the gym to be a runner. I mm. love lifting weights. I love the bench press and all of that. And then I also love running as well. And they kind of complement each other. So what's the, what's the sort of ground floor advice you're giving to get people out of bed off the couch mm. to go for a run? Like what, what is, what's the content that you're pushing out that is getting so many people to do that? Mm. I mean, it's hard to put your finger on, but it's definitely the, the vulnerability aspect is, is what it is. But in terms of trying to convince people to do it, well, it's like taking away the trauma. Like it, it this doesn't have to suck. Yeah. Like, for instance, instead of looking at pace, look at your heart rate. If you have, you know, a All watch right. that can do that. So if you run under, a, you know, with your heart rate under 150 for, for, for most guys, I think it's a little bit higher for girls. Like you are going to enjoy that run. You mm. know, you can do 10 Ks with your heart rate under 150. You are going to come out of that feeling incredible. It'll be pretty slow, yeah. but just like changing the narrative to it and and not just doing it off off pace or off distance. Man, it's, it's pretty crazy. What So what was some of the strategic changes? Because I, I presume you're thinking, man, with what you do, yeah. what was the subtle differences you made to, to help it blow up a bit? You said, I mean, I know you said vulnerability, but other mm. things like some of the camera work you got going on. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck's hold, Like who's flying in the air? <laughs> who's holding that shit? Like, yeah. Well, that came later, but. <laughs> I mean, early on, so it started with that sub 20 minute 5k, like a series. So 
wasn't necessarily a conscious effort, but after episode two, it was a very conscious effort. Like mm. I realized this stuff hit. So creating a series and something for people to follow along was really good. And not just going, you know, this is day one of trying to run a sub 20 minute 5k and then day two, I've done it. Like day one, day two, day three, I regressed like heaps. And then yeah. day four, like came back a little bit. Day five, regressed again. And then, you know, day six, I got it. Wow. So like showing the full process and people following along with that really helped. Uh, camera work. Yeah. I mean, I, I just recorded on my phone in cinematic mode. Like yeah. the iPhones these days, they have that three times lens. If you're recording content and people don't know this, the three times lens record and take as many photos with that as possible. You really? look so much better. Oh, yeah. Wow. The so girls you guys at home yeah. jot that yeah, shit literally. Down. And it makes you look like unreal. But, and then I went and Purchased a drone and and I just get that thing to follow me around and oh, like man. that's yeah, like so a I reckon, whole new I reckon that's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Yeah, but it's all done myself. Like I mean, sometimes I'll get Gab to help me out or, or people around me to help me out, but very rarely. I I love packing my backpack with a tripod drone yeah. and like my running shoes and just going somewhere. Do you do you have a missus now? I don't know because I'm just thinking. Surely that drone coming in off you, beating sweat and moving up to the sky with your big rig, <laughs> that's got to be doing some wonders. <laughs> Oh, like that's got to be assisting it does in some well, way, like, shape, or form. It's like, funny you say that, mate, because there's a few people who they wouldn't have paid much attention to me when I had six, twenty, twelve thousand followers. Oh, yeah. You see how the world works 200, now, bro. Two hundred thousand followers, and you get it, a- <laughs> <laughs> mate. I see it through a lot of my friends' lenses. Like as soon as they get big, it's like, oh, yeah, mate, the funny, world yeah. changes. Oh, well, it's perks the business. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not complaining. And you know what? Do you turn yeah. it away? I don't think so. Nope. <laughs> I think, yeah, happy to play that role. <laughs> <laughs> happy to be that guy. I'm just okay. happy to be here. <laughs> oh, man. How's the um? How's the content? Content house going. Content house is good. So I live with with Tom, who's prime train, and obviously Gab, anabolic Gabe. Um, Gab and I do nine to five together. Tom does his own thing, um, and it's just fantastic. Like you get to bounce off each other ideas. Like we we always talk about resistance in in our world. Like content is so much on your creativity and like your ability to think. So the second you're around people who are like, oh, what you're going to shoot another TikTok? Oh, like mm. you know you, you're going to like talk to the camera again in public. That added resistance is such a parasite for growth. So yeah. we've really generated a, a circle that is super supportive at any time we can film anything. Like there's always help. Um, so yeah, the content house is fantastic. It gets a little bit hectic at times. <laughs> I can as imagine. As you can imagine. Because <laughs> um, how old are you all? You're all under 25, surely. Yes, yeah, so I'm 24, Gab's 24, Tom's 23. Wow. So that's yeah. So young. And we got a fourth man who's Hess. He's he's an IT bloke. He doesn't leave that's the room right. too much. <laughs> as, 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 yeah. as expected. Yeah, exactly. Good on him. But um, no, nah, it's good. It's a good mix. So you're happy, like that that strategic move's really worked in a sense. It I is. feel it was always going to work for you guys, mm. but seeing results is pretty awesome as yeah, well. Yeah, 100%. I, and it's risky. Like, like moving into a house like that, you know, it's, it's, it's yeah. a big buy and it's, you know, at least for a year and, um, but it's paid in dividends. How, how is nine to five? Could, could we probably should pump that up a little bit because yeah. for some of my listeners anyway, if they didn't see the first episode, it's pretty, pretty crazy what you guys have done because yeah, you guys have been working on that for a long time. Long time. And, and it ticks over so nicely. It's got such a good following, got such a good fan base. Um, we've really put a lot of effort and time into the podcast. Yeah. So the podcast is a, a real, like, it really solidifies your audience. And and you'd know this with Unlace. Like if you have a podcast that people tune into every week, mm. you know, whether that's a thousand listeners, eight thousand listeners, whatever, like that is so good for selling things. It's really good for, you know, pro- like providing a message and actually like helping people as yeah. opposed to like a TikTok, which is short form and they don't really understand, mm. you know, like everything about you. So yeah, nine to five is absolutely killing. The apparel is dominating. Gab's like pumping out programs. I do a program as well. Um, do you, which is do, like do you put your running stuff in, into nine to five or not? A is little, that a sort of separate? A little bit. We've done a really good job. I think we've done a really good job of like having our two separate personalities, which are like, we're very different people. Yeah, polar opposite. Yeah, polar, works, exactly, yeah. polar opposite. So, um, and then like getting different people and, and, you know, different walks of life and kind of funneling them into NTF or, or nine to five. Yeah. Um, and I think the co- the podcast complements that the best. Yeah, I do. I, I think you're, you're probably one of my favorite podcasters. Oh, thank I, you. I think, yeah, I think, I don't know if it's your tone or the way you come across, <laughs> but you're so clean on the mic. Yeah. Thanks, mate. I don't, I don't know if everyone looks at that shit, maybe because we do it. I, I look at stuff like I'm that all the time. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm really lucky. I came from so mum and dad both worked in radio. So literally oh, every really? episode, yeah, every you do episode, have a fucking radio voice. Yeah, actually. face for it too. Thanks, mate. <laughs> nah. Uh, and, uh, no, every episode I get a you know a rundown of what I need to improve. So uh, it's handy. But I, I see that as well. Like podcasting is 
such a skill. Yeah, it is. And you notice that when you get into a podcast, like if you're interviewing someone and they get in and they're giving you one word answers, you oh, go, oh, it's, it's going to be a long man. day today. It's so tough, bro. <laughs> yeah. But I, to be honest, I don't know why. Maybe because we get uh, we get a lot of athletes on, like they seem to all be kind of media trained or mm. semi-media trained. Ten. And then everyone drops their guard in here because yeah. like as soon as they hear me laugh or like the that's first so question, there's no fucking agenda. Yeah, like, exactly. And, and, and it's just relaxed. Like that's the exact space you want for a podcast. Oh, man. No, we're the, like, main media networks make mm. my platform and, and other platforms like interesting yeah, because literally. we we don't have an agenda and we like rip the fucking the walls down of like who real people are yeah. and then they're like oh actually man this, this guy or this girl is actually pretty cool yeah exactly they're like they're not like an you know a narcissist or someone crazy that mm. the media writes about i've been doing like the like no run sheets recently as in like coming in with like their name i write down a few topics for panic but like in hoping that they're not gonna that I'm not gonna panic, I just go off the top, and it's been working like a charm. Dude, I, I'm not gonna lie. So if I'll be transparent, I yeah. do come in with like a few like topics of what I want to go yeah. through. This time, this is the first one. I'm I'm refusing to it. look. Yeah, yeah just I'm just run with running it. with it because <laughs> I had huge like running content to talk about, which I wanted to, and then also yeah, your your yeah. content creation. Um, strategy, which I, I'm really keen on, but you're you're playing footy with Prime this year too, mate. I I was. This oh, is, you not? Yeah, yeah. Wait, don't tell me you're not now. Uh, here we go. <laughs> well, this comes back to the running thing, and I haven't released this anywhere, but I'm I'm happy to release oh, it right here. Breaking news. So it, it is flattening, but I I've had to make the call. I can't make content and play footy. Yeah, unfortunately. So like my content, and it was a really difficult decision. So I was going to play with Tom out at Wangaratta, like fully signed up to the club. How far is that away? That's a decent- for two and a half, three hours. Would you have to train midweek there once? No, nah, you train in Goshers, like in, okay. in Melbourne. But okay. um, so like, but it's like so much commitment, you know, it's like three days out of your week at least. Um, but then it's more the injury side. Like if I go out and snap a leg or, or break my arm, <clears throat> mate, if I can't make content, Right now, in its infancy, I'm not making money. Yeah, I'm not yeah. paying rent. So, yeah. had to make the call alongside my manager, Sam Murray, who's but also the, the coach. That, that is, club. that that explains where you're at. For, for yeah. That's a, that's massive. Bro. Mm. Essentially, I've got six new brand deals in, in the space of a month. Yeah, that's crazy. And like, all of them rely on me going for runs, posting stuff. Like, I'm not at the stage yet where I have an app and I can just sign it off and, and like, doesn't matter if I break a leg or you know, yeah. someone else can make content for me. Yeah. So, I, I've had to make that call and, and it's only been the last couple of days we've made that call, but I'm just, like, not going to be able to do it. So, I'll be out there supporting, um, like, the Wangaratta Footy Club, genuinely incredible. Be like, literally one of the best footy clubs I've oh, ever really? stepped foot in. It's like, Prime will be a hit there, won't it? He will be. But, like, also the people around him and, like, you know, the, 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 on the board and stuff, like super supportive. I think footy has like a bit of a, a dinosaur mentality. That's mm. like, so not the case with Wangaratta. Oh really? What mm. the, what, in what sense? Like what, like what do they just, do? They're different? forward progressive. They're allowing of content. Like they're, oh, okay. they're not gotcha. scared of, you know, Tom like skipping around on the field with his pearls and his white teeth. Like <laughs> they embrace it. So, oh. and I absolutely love that. Dude, the, the speaking of some of the brand deals you got, like, I don't know if you want to go into all yeah, of them, but no, Gymshark, yeah. like, yeah. that must have been like a bit of like, oh shit. It, yeah. Well, that that's like when it really kind of started picking up for me. So, um, you know, I, I got new management through our people, which is Sam Murray and, mm. and um, his brother Paddy. And um, like, they've helped me out a, a whole lot. And I said, as I started growing, I said to Paddy, let's like Gymshark. Like that's, that's what all I want is Gymshark. So he approached them. They said, yeah, maybe. And then they saw my content. They're like, nah, let's. Let's what the do fuck? it. Because Gymshark, they, they have a lot of people that wear their stuff, but they're very selective on who they choose. Yeah. Like you have to be fucking huge. Yeah. So there's there's different levels to it. There's like the gifting list, which yeah. like I've been on in the past. Looks probably not what you want. <laughs> <laughs> they're, 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 like it's handy getting free yeah, clothes. Yeah, it's a good starting Free base. clothes aren't going to pay rent. Yeah. Get <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then there's like the, the thing that I'm on, which is like the affiliates program. So you get paid along with free clothes. And then there's the athlete, which I don't know what the money is, but like, I want to be the athlete. So yeah. I'm working towards that. I'm on a certain kind of contract at the moment. Hopefully at the end of that contract, I get the athlete. Fuck man. So do you, do you like actually like really like love the running? Like are you at a point, were you always like that though? No, not at all. So what, what made you love it now? Mm, I think it's just like, it's firstly maturity. Like I've, I've had, I've had a hectic year. There's, there's been, like been some great stuff happened, some crazy stuff, like some, some not so great stuff. So always trying to find that mental clarity has, has been like not a challenge, but it's mm. been a search. So I found straight away with running, I get that mental clarity. And especially if I take out kind of the negative aspects, you know, the really high heart rate, hurtful mm. stuff, like 
if I go for a, a, a long run with a, a low heart rate, like mentally, mate, I'm so far ahead. Oh, really? So I love that side of it. But like, I don't always love going out and going for a run. Do you find you're getting more mental toughness from the runs? Yeah, like, absolutely. Like mentally tougher. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Because sometimes I, I found when I was running a lot, I was like, shit, that was like a worlds apart from me thinking I could get to. Yeah. I would like breeze through. Yeah, exactly. And like all of a sudden your mind shifts. And once you grow like that mental fortitude, you can apply that to different pl- parts of your life. Yeah. You know, with with anything, with business, with like content, you know, for me, content is business. So I, I used to be like, I'm not working past like 3 p.m. and I'm not going to start until like, you know, 9 a.m. Just yeah. like cruisy. Now it's like I'm working till late, you know, I'm, I'm up early and stuff like just because I'm so much stronger mentally, I think. Can you take us through like a bit of a daily schedule? If yeah, you, are, sure. you, are you Are you consistent with one? I'm not. Mm. I'll be the first one to say it. Yeah. I get a lot of shit done, but I don't, in what way it will just end up happening? Yeah. I'd say I'd, I'm consistent. Yeah. yeah I'd, I'd love to hear it. I, so up at about 5, 5.30. Um, if yeah. I don't set an alarm, I'll wake up at 6. Like my body clock's pretty dialed in at the moment. Yeah. I'll go straight into a walk. Like I can't do anything until I go for a walk. That's awesome. Think about things, listen to podcasts, listen to music maybe like get some content on that walk as well. Um, back home, breakfast, gym or run, um, mostly gym in the morning. And then like go about my day, which is like editing content pretty much the whole day, setting up this Sunday run stuff. So that's like a good portion of, of most of my days is setting up that stuff. Um, then there's like, so Sunday run, is that like the, the program you're, 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 yeah, building, that's the, the free programming. I okay. So out. you're working on that. Yeah. Working on that, developing it, like looking which direction is the best way to go. And like, mm. how can I help people best with that? So that's like a good four hours in the middle of the day there, Fuck. you know, like all of that. And then obviously there's like, um, affiliate stuff. So like Gymshark, mm. Whoop, Brooks, they're like people who I'm sponsored by. Yeah. So making content for them and, and like liaisoning with them. Uh, and then I'll go for a run later in the day and. Are you, are you content. managing to, because I can imagine when you, when you get momentum, you want to run with it and stuff, are you still finding time for like yourself to like switch yeah. off a little bit and have have sort of like moments for you? Because I can imagine, or you're always on the clock. Yeah, kind but, of. I mean, I feel like what I've got right now is, is so great, but it's also so fragile. Like mm. I feel like I could- It could get taken away I feel from like you? it could just get like- Oh, really? You know, people just like, it's all gone in, in one day. So- Whilst yes, I'm I'm very good at you know looking after myself. Don't worry about that. I love a beer and I love hanging out. But right now, especially in the last kind of three to four months, I'm pretty locked in. Bro, I fucking love that. I actually yeah. think like as as people may say, it's a pessimistic way to look at it. I think that's the best way to be. Yeah, because like when you feel like you some something can take someone off you, you work harder, you strive harder. Yeah, as soon as you relax. Well, I yeah, can't. Just, yeah, you can't. <laughs> I just yeah. don't have time. So. But with content, it's always like that too because you've, you're naturally always, your content's sort of like machine, the social media train never yeah. stops. Yeah, exactly. It, it doesn't stop. And like the, the fact it could get taken away, it's like, no, 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 no I, I'm but not like going to listen to anyone. <laughs> what, can, can you just tell me like a nightmare you've had where like who's taken it away? What's I, know, I just guess like, <laughs> what is, like imagine you start getting comments like you've fallen off, like this guy sucks <laughs> and you just watch the fall. Because like, as I said to you before, the, before we started recording, like, I was going up 10,000 followers a day at one point. Yeah, that's People nuts. are saying I'm buying followers, like I'm a fake, I'm a, I, but I'm going up. I'm still shooting up, so I'm just pumping out content. And then one day it started coming off. I was getting 5,000 followers a day. Mate, biggest bloody come down. <laughs> oh, you're just I was like, you're, I was, I've fallen off. Like it's, oh. it's all going away. You know, I've got nothing anymore. But, you know, it's unrealistic to expect it to just keep climbing. Yeah. Um, so as long as I'm either – you know, staying stagnant or, or, you know, continuing to climb, then I'm going to keep pumping. So but how do, how's it? Cause one thing that's impressive with you is you've kept a lot of your size. Yeah. Like with running and running usually shreds bodies and like you, you lose size. Like mm. I remember I looked, I looked in the mirror. I was like, Jesus Christ. Like, <laughs> I look like a runner now. Do you know what I mean? My legs were thin. My body was mm. like kind of sh- like, how are you managing both? You're- yeah. I, I mean, I train as hard in the gym as I do with running. I just don't necessarily record it. Uh, mm. so like, there's a lot of weight training going on there. I eat pretty well. Uh, I eat like high protein and, and I've found it's all about protein timing. So if I'm getting, you know, 30 grams of protein every kind of two hours or so within reason, um, throughout the day or throughout the window of eating that, that limits the atrophy. So you guys, loss. you, your content house freaks me out with eating because everything's so perfect and so measured. To an extent. And, well, yeah, this is what I was going to ask. Do you guys like eat junk? Cause like, man, I'm- yeah. I eat so much. Yeah. I mean, I'd be the worst eater in the house <laughs> for sure. But I mean, living in a content house, we probably have to check our eating habits at times. Well, like, I, you, all your businesses are fitness oriented, yeah. so it makes sense. And, and you know, we're essentially paid off how we look. So yeah. like our eating habits are probably questionable, you know, um, in terms of like calorie deficits and stuff. It's, it's probably not the best culture. Uh, we probably have to check in on that. But right now it's working. 
Hey guys, just a quick break in this episode to share that I have partnered with Dabble, the gambling agency. Dabble is an incredible platform. It's similar to Instagram where you can copy uh, bets off some of the absolute superstars of various games. It's absolutely awesome. Please make sure you do gamble responsibly, only bet what you can. And also, big, big news, for the next 12 months, I'm going to be doing a Tuesday stream between 7 and 8 p.m. where I'm going to be talking all sports, putting on bets with you guys and having absolute fun. You can find that within the Double app and it's there, as I said, every Tuesday night, 7 to 8 p.m., the Jake Barkadash live show. Make sure we see you there and we'll get back into the episode. Are you into any other sports outside of footy and running? Um, are you kind of like you? You just been locked in on those. I mean, I'm so not much. actually into like I don't care about who's running the quickest marathon or anything. No, I know, but this yeah. is. Do you don't have a? T- this is what nah. I found interesting, and this is why, why I think your content also like yeah. flies as well. Because you're like, I don't really want to compete. No, I don't. Like, yeah, <laughs> I I'm, I'm, the, I'm the social runner. <laughs> yeah, literally, and and it's pissed people off in the running community. Has it? I had someone come because I was I I just did 30 k's the other day, which is the furthest run I've ever done. Yeah, and someone's like, "How are you a running influencer?" And this is the furthest you've ever ran. <laughs> Oh well, mate, I can't help it. Like, because it's relatable. Yeah, like, that's why. But well, no, that's, I couldn't care less about. You know, well, I like Kipchoge. But what not? <laughs> I like Kipchoge. Yeah, the greatest yeah. runner of all time. He's cool. But yeah, he's cool. I don't know much. He about seems him. like a good dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah like that, bro, have you seen, it, mate? The Kenyans, they can run, bro. They can run. Yeah, they do these. They do forward. these running exercises where they have like different people that come yeah. in like and run with them and set the pace yeah. and then they have to tap out and then new, a new like person comes in and it's like three of the Olympic runners Imagine running that. and they're, they're just chasing someone who's sprinting. Cruising. Yeah. I don't know how they do it. Would be nice. Maybe I'll do a run spot review in Kenya. Ken- wow. Mm. Dude, you would blow up in Kenya. Do you reckon? Yeah. Because like you, one, you don't look like anyone. True. Two, you, you're massive in muscle size, <laughs> which in Kenya is almost near impossible. Like they can eat so much bad. My best mate's uh, Kenyan. Yeah. Well, I actually went to Kenya. Oh really? Yeah. It was crazy. Um, it's, so much food there no one puts on size I'm going to do it I'm going to do a run spot review in Kenya dude I bet you you'll do it I reckon you'll do a run with Kipchoge I'm going to I'm going to knock off Australia first and then and then <laughs> I'll go then I'm going global instead of America or yeah. Europe you just go straight to Africa America, <laughs> I don't do that straight to Africa yeah. well Africa's where all the good runners are at that's true I'm going to go there yeah. watch it will you, will you ever do like beyond a marathon will you ever do beyond those sort of runs, like these ultra yeah, marathons. I think so. My ultra marathon. I looks, want to do one as well. I think it'd be good. Like a hundred mile race or something. Why not? Like it'd be good fun. I mean, you're not, I think people connect it to like, you're doing, you know, a 430 pace for a hundred Ks nah, or a hundred miles or whatever. Just trying it is. to finish it. Man. Nah, you're just trying to get through. Like yeah. there's walking involved and stuff. Yeah, and it's, correct. It's all mental. Have you had any setbacks with your running? It's like injuries and stuff. Cause I imagine the volume you're doing must, must be like challenging. Yeah. Your body. Especially when I was training for footy. Cause I was <laughs> oh, yeah. doing 30 K or well doing, 40k weeks and then trying to train footy on top of that and it's like high impact so i got um like tendonitis in my heel or whatever it's called and it's still an issue but once i warm up i'm all right so okay now that footy's done mate I game can, changer game changer really like, huge like it is yeah i'm stepping up k's i've just like written rewritten a whole new plan for running and stuff mm. like i want to be doing you know Almost a bloody marathon every two weeks. Wow, is that is that so, actually really? Well, I mean, why some not? Ned yeah. Brockman shit. Yeah, I mean, it, it's very possible. Like, if he can run Austra- across Dude, Australia, then I can break I, it. Up ima- imagine if you do some some shit I'll like go that around Australia. You go. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm it's not like doing. Why did he die in Brisbane? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he only made it up there. Yeah, he saw the fucking <laughs> saw the distance of Darwin. He's like, fuck yeah. this. Sorry, everyone. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not going to do it. I'm Australian of the year. My parents are just about. You're just not going to do that. Yeah, you're just not doing it. You're not allowed to speak because you know when like. There's, a, there's always like that kind of period in a run where you get like a bit of block or like this, the head stays like in the head. You, mm. you still just stop looking at the scenery. Because one one advice I got from this guy, John Van Wister, who's actually been on this show, I was like, mate, when I'm doing long distance, like how do I do it? Because like A, I get bored. Two, I get a bit tired. And then like three, I'm, I'm actually not running for anything mm. other than like my own gain. And he's like, he said something to me. He's like, mate, you just... He's like, don't think about anything. Just get out there and smell mm. the roses. Don't look at the, don't look at the distance. Don't look at time. Go. Just like stay in the moment kind of shit. And I did it and I improved my like PB by like nine K. Yeah, I bet. But I really focused on it. Like, don't look at anything. And I just, yeah, it was like, wow. And it's a, it's the purest form of meditation. Like I've got, got ADHD. So, you know, sitting down and meditating right now is out of the realm for me. I will be able to get to it and I'll be able to apply myself and figure it out. But right now I'm not going to sit that's down and meditate. Yeah. yeah. But going for a run, I can easily do that. Really? And, and that's when I get like the most clarity. So at one point I wanted to to challenge myself with that. So I did 10 Ks, but around an oval. 
and then which is boring as fuck. so boring and no music as well wow and mate the thoughts i was having well it started out with like i had really deep thoughts great thoughts but then by the last five k's i had like no thoughts at all just pure clarity and but how did you so get peaceful. to that how did you get to that point because for, for some people, they don't always get to that. They're fighting the whole time. Right? Yeah. I mean, it's uh, like for, from a meditation perspective, it's just like moving those thoughts oh, on, right. like don't okay. allow it and then just keep going and then, you know, just keep going. Is that your is that your brain just naturally doing that or were you proactively thinking of like, I'm going to get to this I space? I was proactive. Like yeah, okay. I went, I did that run to meditate, like to get clarity. Ah. So I did like 10Ks around um, Victoria Park. And just like, just ticking over, just Dude, keep so going. running's actually like changed everything about you. Yeah. In a sense of like your life, the way you, like the way you utilize it is not necessarily to always get fit. No, not at all. It's purely for like now, well, it's an identity, but you're going there yeah. for clarity and I stuff. I couldn't care less about fitness, to be honest, mate. Like I literally just want to be healthy, you know, fit and, and happy. Like Which, that's, that's, that's all it is. That's so funny because you like, <laughs> you're a business owner of nine to five fitness. Sponsored yeah, <laughs> <literally>. by <laughs> Gymshark. I don't give a fuck about fitness. No, How many days a week do you run actually? Um, it'll, I mean, back with footy, it was seven days a week. Whoa. My body was falling apart. But now it'd, it'd probably be about four to, to five days a week. Because yeah. I think like you being an athlete and for those that listen, like when you do work hard a lot, you actually have to recover a lot mm. too. So from a recovery point of view, like, do you have any regimes in place or mm. just like your form of recovery to sit on the couch? Cause that's what I see in your videos. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> waking up and shit, sleeping yeah. on the couch. Um, yeah, definitely. Like there's, there's, there's three main things or oh, two main things for me, which is like, obviously like diet. So a high protein diet is so necessary for, um, recovery. That's how your muscles recover. Um, so I eat a pretty high protein diet and then mm. also sleep. Like Sleep's key. Eh? Really just emphasizing on sleep and. And, and consistent sleep times, consistent wake up times, just like exponentially improves recovery. Yeah. I always tell people that struggle with sleep, I'm like, exercise more. Because mm, you, so you get more tired. And just force yourself to wake up at the same yeah, time. Yeah, just like that. That's, yeah, that's like one of those things you got to get to like a non negotiable. Yeah, in I yourself. think people like get in their head. Let's say you have to wake up at, at 5 a.m., it like gets to midnight. They're like, oh, I'm still not asleep. Still yeah. Asleep. Okay, I'm going to change the alarm to like nine. I'm going to wake up at nine. It's yeah. like, nah, you're going to ruin yourself for the Guilty. whole week. Guilty. Yeah. Yeah. Same, <laughs> Guilty. Same. I'm the exact same. <laughs> I'm not sitting there and preaching everyone. I am. I am oh, the problem. The exact same. <laughs> I am the problem. But that's why, because I, the thing with me is like, I've, I've done stuff like you in a sense, but I've also fallen back down. Mm. And that's exactly what you said about like how all this can be taken. Like yeah. you have to stay on the ball. 100%. And treat treat yourself almost as like a professional athlete. Yeah, and and I will fall down. I do fall down all the time. Yeah, and, and but when I do, I'm going to record the fuck out of it because <laughs> vulnerability. Yeah. People love that vulnerability. <laughs> You're pretty comfortable being vulnerable, aren't you? Yeah, fine. Yeah, no worries. I'm happy to <laughs> happy to share. Happy to share. Happy That's to fucking about. awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's it's not weird when you talk about your vulnerability. Yeah, I like mean, maybe because it's so believable. Yeah, exactly. It's so genuine. Like, and it's I feel like it's stuff like most people go through. Correct. Um, and you know, just like. I think being like a, a, a guy, like 24 year old guy, not many people are talking about it. So, you know, I'm not like, I'm not Ned Brockman. Like I'm not, you know, someone like who's like this full vulnerability train, but I am just honest with, with who I am. And, yeah. and I'll say that on. I think your potential is so big. <laughs> Thanks. Man. Yeah, man. I'm we'll a big, see. I'm a big fan of you. If you can't tell, <laughs> no, I appreciate do, I, do you know, maybe, maybe it's because like when this podcast started, you put me in your top five favorite podcasts. I did. You still yeah, are. Yeah. Thanks. Still bro. I appreciate it. I'm an avid listener. <laughs> avid listener. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, cause I see your guys on TikTok all the time. Cause I was, I actually watched a bit of your stuff to be like, mm. how did you guys get this growth? And it's just like the consistency and the quality. And one of the things that I don't have the privilege of is like being all in mm. on it. And yeah. I think that makes a huge difference. Mate. Well, you, you edit as well. Yeah, exactly. Really it's, 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 it's all in. Um, and that like thinking about the benefit that, that gives, you know, our, our whole content house compared to anyone who's trying to make content is like, we can put our whole day into filming TikToks, podcasts, any kind of content, and then like go to sleep at a reasonable hour and have a whole nother day to do it. Whereas if someone's like getting home from work, having to record content, it's so hard to get ahead. Mm. So we're very privileged and like- But you guys were doing that. I would say you guys were doing that even probably before you would say you're yeah, making absolutely. like good enough money to, to live off. So yeah. you guys like, you jumped off a, like, a ledge a little yeah. bit. And, and we're young enough, like- Take risks. Correct. Just take risks. Who cares? We got safety nets. Like it's it's going to be okay. Yeah. Like you don't have a missus or, or kids nah. that you guys know of at exactly. least. So well, mine one. But. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, no. Mate, I've been talking about that the last few weeks. Wait, keep me inside because yeah. 
I oh, mean, I got single like uh, made it been like a year ago. Yeah, I just go out a lot. Yeah, because I, I I live at home with my dog, and I'm like, I get my phone from Friday to Saturday. It's frightening mm. the amount of messages like, oh, doing this, doing that, and I make a call. Literally. I'm like, oh, it's pretty sad if I stay here and just look at my dog. Exactly. And then I go out. I'm like, I should have just stayed in. Should have stayed in, and especially when you start getting into like the the influencer circles or whatever. Like, you can be a, a fitness influencer, and you could go out every single day. There are beers out every Everywhere. single day of the week yeah. like you know you could you could not come home at all actually that's a really good good point to bring up it's like how are you coping with like the societal like friendships the mm. groups all those things all these stuff you get invited to and offered to mm. that are probably not going to help your content and your running mm. yeah i mean like i just deal with them i love a beer so much I, yeah. I love hanging out with mates i love going out yeah um i've definitely reeled it in and only because i just i have to and it's less so for the fact i can't like i i need to run on a sunday it's not because of that it's because i need to recover mm. like if i've done 30 k's and i go out and get on the piss like recovery out the window that's a three-day recovery process yeah, yeah correct Whereas if i get an eight eight hours of sleep with no alcohol I'm laughing. So, so yeah, but do you find that being single and 24 that that bothers you, or are you kind of so checked in and lasered I'm in pretty, that? Pretty dialed in at the moment. It, it it will it'll come around for yeah, sure. Yeah. Like I'm gonna need to go out. I'm gonna need to meet people. I I need to talk to people. Like I'm social. So I reckon you have people knocking at your door sooner. This drone footage, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the drone yeah, footage. Fucking unbelievable. Oh uh, yeah, right. chicks love the drone. Chicks footage, love mate. it. Huh? <laughs> the mums. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> um, have you? Yeah. Can you can you tell us like a particular like. I guess, memorable run that you've had or like mm. a favorite distance that you've had that for you is kind of sort of set the tone. Like what, what is your sort of correct distance or like favorite distance where you just eat it? I love, I love 10 Ks. 10 Ks is like, has, has all the emotions. Wholesome run. Yeah. Wholesome run. But I think, um, most memorable one was only the other week. I actually went for a run with, uh, Nick Crocker. He's a, um, venture capitalist, Fuck. just like super interesting guy, not from a business perspective, just to like pick his brains and have a chat. And mate, like, and so you had a business meeting and you decided to throw a run. But it wasn't a business. It was like kind of business, like not business, but you know, which I was just having chatting. a chat and that like screened fitness to me, like being able to run 10 Ks at a pretty reasonable pace. I think it was under five thirty. It might've, yeah, I think it was under five minutes 30. So it's like, you're moving like pretty nicely. We were talking the whole time. I said to Nick after the run, like that is fitness to me, like being able to go for a run talk and actually get something out of it like i feel so incredible after that so that would be wow. like my favorite run i've ever done i'd say that shows how fit you are too the fact that you can talk the whole time yeah exactly and <laughs> same with nick he did more talking than did I he did. really <laughs> yeah. does he run a lot yeah he's a great runner yeah ah man so where where are you drawing inspiration from with all this do you have like usually when you when there's a path mm. that you're sort of running down there's someone that's maybe said it is there anyone in that space that you look up to or no not you, not in the running space not at all i, I really don't follow any, i don't know anyone that's doing what you're any doing. running con content yeah, and I, I think I gain. I said this on on my own podcast. Um, I gain most of my kind of inspiration from my old man. Like he's always been really big on kind of not like stop looking yourself in the mirror and actually help someone kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You know, so like providing advice, providing free advice, changing lives and and affecting lives. So like those four things are kind of what Dad's always preached. And so I guess that is where I get the inspiration from. And Mate, he couldn't run further than 100 meters. Yeah. So. <laughs> have you have you had any messages like that where it's kind of pinch yourself oh, shit? Like every really, day, mate. Re really, yeah, like and like crazy stuff, like intent. Like, Is there any that you can share? Yeah, oh, I mean, I, I wouldn't put names to it, but like, absolutely, literally, yeah. people like not like killing themselves you should, that, over, that, over that, running that, stuff. And you know, I like. I don't want to say I'm the only. Like, I'm the only <laughs> reason they 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 didn't go through with that, but. That's kind that of what is. they implied in the message. So, and I get plenty of messages like that most weeks. So, you know, in terms of like reasons I do it, like, of course, I'm going to keep running if, if that's the result. Yeah. Was, do you feel like a huge sense of responsibility now? Yeah. I, and, and not in a negative sense. Like, no, I, like, an, like yeah. this is mad. Do you know yeah, what I mean? absolutely. I like, would see it like Why that. would I not run? Yeah. Why, yeah. if, why, this yeah. is, is, this is bigger than me. Yeah. So much bigger than me. Do you me. know like, what I mean? Can genuinely help lives. So, um, yeah, that's, that'd, that'd be it really. Far out, man. How do you, how do you, with your content creation, cause do you ever get, you find it difficult? Cause I, I sometimes find with content creation and social media, when you're always the face of it, mm -hmm. like life isn't always rosy when you go through tough shit and so forth. Like how do you manage to keep pushing out content? Even when you're in a space where you're like, I, I really sh don't feel like it. Mm. Right? This is not what I need right now. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a hard one, isn't it? I, I guess I've got so many backdated ideas and like so many things I can pull on that, that like I'm going to be all right. 
but like diversi- diversifying my content. I've got a podcast now, like my own running podcast, which mm. is called The Sunday Run. Obviously, like all the running stuff as well. Um, and then I like to feature in Tom and Gab's stuff. So like there's never really a moment where it's like, you know, if, if one source is depleted, well, I'll just go look at the the next. Mm, okay. um, but to be honest, mate, in the last three months while I've been doing this, I haven't run but out you, of ideas. Yeah, you just look like you're having fun. Yeah. Is there, is it will, there it will come. Well, though. shout out also your Sunday Run podcast too, yeah, yeah. which drops every Sunday? Yeah, every Sunday. It, it's very much like running based. Like I'll do Is it solid. just you? Solid? I do uh, uh, every two weeks. It's just me. So like every second episode, I'll just sit down, have a chat, answer questions, um, and have you ever done a solo podcast? Uh, I did one. It's hard work, isn't it? Yeah. Dude, I actually thought I did well. It was my lowest rated podcast. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, cause I, I no, cause I, I, I guess pulled out and I was like, well, I can't miss a week. Yeah. And then it was like the Champions League final was coming up and the A-League grand final. So I was like, oh, I'll do a preview for both. Yeah. It's like fucking no one listen. <laughs> it's like, okay, maybe I need guests. But I mean, so like if you're going to do it, you should do it on a more broad topic. Dude, then, I would and I love really to really do well. a solo podcast or a podcast with just one person that mm. I know is going to turn up every week. The hardest part about a podcast when you do it 52 weeks a year, 48 weeks a year yeah. is getting- 48 yeah, different guess. guests. I can't imagine doing that. Dude, that is, and like. But that's, sorry, that's and, the freedom. And you're getting them for free? Yeah. Like, bro. It's hard. It's really hard. What's that, the upsell? That's the freedom of being able to do it on your own though, Yeah, but that's it? the best. You can shoot anywhere, anytime. Mm. You just got to think of the content, which is fun. And it's a lot of content. It's a lot of just like asking yourself a question and answering it. Yeah. <laughs> so you just talk to yourself. Yeah. You know, and then I get people to send in voice messages and stuff, play it through the mic. Oh, that would be it. cool. Yeah, it's good fun. What's a what's a common question you get asked? It's very running based at the, at the moment, but a lot of like a lot of things you've asked about content, about like inspiration, um, motivation is probably the most is is the biggest one and and how do I stay motivated and like I'm I'm not that motivated as such. I'm just like disciplined. So that's kind of That's a huge that's why you'd be successful the, man. the answer. Yeah. Thanks, mate. No, dis- I, do you know I have this um theory what when you get disciplined. So di- purpose comes first, discipline comes second. Mm. So yeah. true. Yeah, because like what are you being disciplined for if you have no purpose? Yeah, exactly. Find the purpose. And I think Fine. that's where I struggled before it's the really running. Really hard stuff, though, man. Because like I didn't know what my purpose was in terms of content. I knew I wanted to do content, but like what am I helping? Like what am I yeah. doing? But that's, that's what that's why it's, it's good to um good to just chip away and like mm. keep knocking on a door because eventually when you don't know what you're going to do, but you're doing stuff and you're trying yeah. things, eventually something's going to grab you and you're yeah, like, exactly. this is now I, now I'm going to run with this. Yeah, exactly. Which is what's happened with you. And, and Bill, well, hopefully, hopefully we can keep going. Yeah, I'm sure <laughs> you will, bro. When did, ha, so how, how young were you when you really started got like creating content? Because uh, people, people don't realize everyone's a content. If you're on social media, you're all content creators. Yeah, exactly. It's just how much time you're putting into it. I mean, like I was not creative through school and stuff, like whatsoever, not good at filmmaking or like coming up with ideas as such. But it really started when I started at NTF, like nine to five with Gab. So when I was about 21, I think. So oh, yeah, maybe 20. Um, so I've been doing it for like four years now. Fuck, man. Um, it's not really that long. Not that long at all. No, but yeah. and and what I've learned is, is like I've learned so much. What what are know? some of key key things you? Well, I, I guess like just the, the like editing and and like video creation and stuff. Dude, you str- I was that was one thing I was shocked about that you did like a lot of the editing. Yeah, because you just look like you look like a jock. <laughs> Jocks don't ed- like we're, Jocks we're, are, we're not. Yeah. I'm not. Can't I can't edit. edit. I know, I'm, dude. My life would be fucked without Braden. I literally. I we we now have a podcast producer, which is handy for yeah. the podcast. Do you find that makes a difference? Oh, huge difference. Yeah. Mate. Just focus on content. It's yeah. game changer. Shout but, out, shout out, Braves, yeah, shout Game out, changer, brother. He's killing it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I, I just edit all on my phone and stuff. And I, I don't know, things that, that change, like just like effort, like put in effort. You know, like I make a 30 second video a day pretty much on running. Mm. And I used to take 20 minutes to edit that. But now I'll like dedicate as I'll dedicate a day to it if I need to. I mean, yeah. it only, it normally only takes me like two hours, but it's still a lot of time for a two, three, 30 second video. Man, I remember, I think we spoke about this last time with, um, mm. Gabe, your business partner, and obviously one of your best friends mm. was, um, you can spend so much time building a TikTok that does nothing. You can spend no time on one that just absolutely flies. It's the way. It's such a weird algorithm. It's eh? so, but you just, you just have to stick around. You just have just to keep, keep going. Yeah, like keep don't get up. too bogged down by the numbers. You know, it is what it is. And just, if you just keep posting, keep showing up, you'll get onto people's for you page and then yeah. you'll hit it. That's what, uh, that was my favorite quote with uh, the whole Ned Brockman thing. It's like, just keep showing up. Keep showing up. Keep showing up. It's so easy. Dude, did you watch that shit like closely at all? Yeah, yeah. Because were you doing running content around this time? A little 
little bit, not as yeah, I, I think so, but not as much. Do you that was like a bit of a inspo for you? Not really. You I mean, just, uh, he inspired me in many different ways. Probably not so much in the running side, more the mental fortitude. Yeah, mental great word. Yeah, mental fortitude. Yeah, what is <laughs> what is what is uh what does mental fortitude mean to just you? Like your ability to keep showing up, I suppose. You Ned, you Ned Brockman, <laughs> you're but Ned like Brockman. How, how strong you are in your head. Yeah, that's is, mate. That's a fucking hard thing to do. Mm. And I like. I think you learn, I mean, like being an athlete yourself, you'd have a, a huge amount of mental fortitude. You have to, especially with injuries and, and so on. Yeah. Um, so like for those of us who are not athletes, you actually have to find it in different ways and pushing your body is a great way to find some form of mental fortitude. Yeah, I agree. Like when you go through hardship or, mm. or everything like that. Yeah. Um, I do want to touch on... I love to, I don't know why I love talking to you about dating because I feel like yeah I love it I feel like you're just young and I actually hate dating but I love no talking like about so it. do I yeah let's talk about why let's, let's talk about why do you hate dating because I I despise mm. it I don't do I don't date yeah really no nah. why um because I fear of uh being like my like wasting my time not in the sense of my own ego like who am I but more like I don't if I don't know them well. I'm not going to catch up with a stranger that's like a hot chick on Instagram that's yep. followed me and I'm like, she's like, let's get a call. I can't do it. Yeah. I need to know them so then I know that I'm going to go there and fuck with them. I know. I'm the exact same, mate. And I, like, I'm so, so much so like that. I can't even do one night stands. Like, I need to get to know someone. I need, I need before, connection. I need connection. Otherwise, I'm but like, I will say 10 years ago, I oh, fuck, man. I'll stand I was, back. Oh, stand back, bro. <laughs> I was going, yeah, I'll yeah. do whatever. But now it's, it's like, maturity. but it's also, yeah, it's maturity. And I'm, I'm also like thinking of the girl. Like, I'm like, mm. Like if my head is not within you beyond this night, yeah, like you're gonna be upset. What's the point? You're well? gonna be upset, yeah. and then that's gonna make me upset, and then I feel like a bad guy. So I'm like, let's just like I just don't do it. <laughs> no, no, let's just avoid it all together. <laughs> yeah, I think with with dating, I I um so I've been single for two years now. I've been on a few dates here and there. Um, look, some great dates, but I used to <laughs> like prior to to hearing. To, to knowing what I know now, I used to get so like worked up and like panic about dates, and then oh, really? uh, oh mate, like what were the that, what the, were the fearful just thoughts? Like like what if she doesn't like this about me? You know, like like what if I can't make conversation? You know, I'm running a fucking. I had done like. 50 to 60 episodes of a podcast at this point. So I don't know why I was nervous. Yeah. Because well, a date is just like a podcast. Correct. Um, so, but then my mates like to me, because I was so nervous about like a girl not liking me, you know, like the rejection side. And he's like, the best part, like the most comforting part about dates is if you are wholeheartedly yourself, it'll work. Like it will be what it will be. Mm. So if you're so unapologetically yourself when you turn up, you know, oh, you know, it's like talk the way you talk, be who you are, be who you're going to be if you are in a relationship with her, mm -hmm. then like you've got nothing to lose. And yeah. If well, so like you're, th that. you're thinking like being radically uh, or honest, brutally honest about like your, who you are, what you like yeah. up front, not playing a game. Yeah. And yeah, exactly. I, I think, I think with That's guys. That's the other thing I struggle with, sorry, is mm. the games. Yeah. Oh, I, know, so I can't fuck with them. them. Well, I feel like girls in your age group and below. Yeah. Oh, it's just a game. Love, bro. love the game. I've, I've always been with the thing of like matching energies, you know, oh, just do, yeah. do what they do to you. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I, I mean, I can, I'm, I'm great at games, yeah. but now I've gotten older <laughs> no, I, I, yeah, I, and I've played a lot of them, but it's like, there's no value in them. <laughs> there's no value. It's just, yeah, it's exactly. Like when girls, but the only thing with like this, the psychology or the dynamic of some girls is mm. that they really thrive. And even guys, they really thrive off a chase. Yeah. Like they, you I want what you can't have. Insecurities and stuff. Well, yeah, but that bit. I'm at the point now, like I can't be fucked. If you're, or if no, you're not sure, crazy. then I don't, I'm not interested. I don't, I don't have time for it. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't know. I think that the dates thing and, and in turn, going back to that thing of like, like trying to be yourself, like, like you are who you are kind of thing. I think a lot of guys get caught up in trying to be a baller, like roll in as Conor McGregor, I'll, you know, yeah. pay, buy this, buy that. Yeah. Like I'm not rich at all. Like I'll pay for dinner hundred percent. Yeah. But like, I, I don't have a Lamborghini. I don't have this. I don't have that. So the second I get the sense from a girl, like she's trying to take me for money or whatever, those 200,000 followers do not correlate to my bank account. Yeah. You know, and I make that very clear. Oh, but they will one day. Hopefully one <laughs> yeah, day. Hopefully yeah. One day. <laughs> so like when you, when you go out on a, like, the first date you're always are you paying every time yeah every time. i'd say i pay for first five to yeah days, i'm like that too yeah. i was about to say but I people ask me that i pay i pay all the dates i get uncomfortable i get uncomfortable i'd tell you what though one thing that does go a long way with girls mm. is even if you aren't going to pay 
if you convince me that your if your offer was like legitimate, yeah, I would I would love that. Yeah, absolutely. I totally I like, agree I'm with like, that. Thank you so much. No, you keep it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I do yeah. appreciate. I it. appreciate the effort. Yeah. And you, there there is a range. Like I it's want you so to push small. to pay. Yeah, but not too much. <laughs> yeah. Like like don't you, fight me for the yeah answer. yeah. Oh, don't let's not do the fight because <laughs> I'll win. <laughs> But but then on the same side, like if you're not trying at all, it's like, well, hang on. It's yeah. like, oh, I'll pay. No, no, it's all good. And then they're like, okay. It's like, no, yeah, no, 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 yeah, no. yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. That, don't throw a jab. Come <laughs> yeah. back with a hook. Yeah, come back. Okay, give me f- a bit more. <laughs> the and then I'll pay. All right. <laughs> There's <laughs> levels to this shit. Yeah. That, that was a fake pay. There is a balance. Yeah. yeah that, that was fake. That was fake, bro. And, and we're not they, doing if they go fake, then I'll go, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Match that energy, Jack. Match that energy. It's like actually you go on, go on, you have this one then. Exactly. It's hard though. I don't know. I, when when do, have you ever not paid for a date? Um, yeah, but only through like I can see it means a lot to them. Mm. But it was it would never be within the first like five. Mm. Never. Yeah, I agree. Like I would sneak off and pay and stuff. Yeah, but I also think that does go a long way. But it also sets a precedent that like oh, be dangerous. It's dangerous. It's dangerous because like we're living in a world where we want equality. Mm, yeah. Oh, hang and, on. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Let's but, go. Uh, Fifty Cent said the great greatest line ever about. It. He goes like, "Who pays on the Who pays on the date? Mm. It's like whoever's idea it was to go on a date. Mm, it's true. Wow." Hasn't been consistent no, for me though. It's never, happen, I've been paying it's never every happened day. to me. Yeah. Do you want to go on a date? No, I'm fucking paying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm paying. Yeah, we sh- I, we- I think you you got to set the precedent slow. Yeah. Like I think I got caught up there for a bit of, of trying to go lavish and and nice dates and stuff. Nah, mate. Ten dollar dumplings. Oh, lock in. You get the, the 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 staff. They're horrible. They pretty much throw the cutlery at you. They throw the water at you. They throw the dumplings at you. You sit there. You take it. And if you can get through that kind of date, well, then it's a good start. I think those dates are better, right? Because you know you'll find out who the person is quicker. Mm, exactly. Like if you take them to like the Nobu's and Rock oh, of the world, mate. you're gonna have you're gonna that have good food me. and you're gonna have like the chat. But like when you leave, you're like, I don't know if I know her any better no, than oh, like mate. that. That whole thing's a facade. That is just for in. Instagram doing that, that. like up, yeah. see straight through it. And honestly, if you're like if you're a guy and you're taking a girl to, to Noble on the first date, especially if you're like if you're not overly, you know, if you're not rich, yeah, like you just can't be doing that on the first date. That's and this is why the other reason why I hate dating is because I know that sort of process is going on with dating. Yeah. That's the opposite of like success. Yeah, literally. With with that sort of stuff. Because you're just going in and you're being something that you either can't, like you maybe want to be, mm. but you can't be. Mm. Or you just don't know like who you are. I've found um like think like with en- ending things with girls uh, after like being on a few dates. Oh, it's like just not right for me. It's not right at, at the time, mate. If I'm honest with you, I, mean, I I just don't think you're right for me. The amount of times I've, I've said that a couple of times, and oh, no, they've come, worked. They're they're so rude. Like on the oh, way back, rude, like, really? You're a dog. Yeah, like they've never had that before. So oh, do you it, wait? Do, have you left the, the restaurant? You're driving no, home in the no, car. No, no, sorry. Oh, oh, like, over, over, text. over text. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, mate, well, what else do they want you to be? Yeah, but I, not I'm honest. sorry. Yeah, exactly. That's so. Sometimes it's just easier. Dude, to ghost, I love when a girl fucking tells me I'm like I'm not good enough for them. No, the reason. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's just like I've got my time. I've yeah. got my time back. Thank you. Exactly. Like what there was actually, there's quite a big content creator that I went out on a few dates with mm. and like they made some like TikToks about the dates and shit and it was like fucking blowing up. Like, oh shit. Like never use my name, which I respected. But like after the second, it was like this really long, like almost like tailored message. Like, like she'd written it before. Yeah. But I was like, pays. yeah, <laughs> copy and paste. But it's like, <laughs> you're just not the one for me. Da da da. Like all this yeah. sort of stuff. And I was like, thank you so much. Yeah. I was like, because I was like, good on you for saying it, how it is. Yeah. Like I didn't, I didn't get, I mean, I'll get rejected a hundred times. All I need is one okay. yes, you know? Yeah. Literally. Steve, one yes. Each, I'm still searching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Could do with one. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, mate, if you're, if you're not getting like, Girls flying through the door, then we're all fucked. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're all no. fucked. I don't know. It's it's definitely not like that. But you you got to wade through like the the ones who. Well, are this is the, this is know. a great follow on question okay. with that. Is how do you do that? Because I know when for what we're trying to say there. Because I don't know if we said that clearly. Mm. Is how do you push through the real ones versus the ones that are there mm. for the wrong reasons? Yeah, I think um, I don't know. I, you can you can always tell. You always you always feel it inside. But I think. You got to stop changing that thing of like trying to go for a girl who's like you're trying to save, like you know, save her from the life or whatever. Like, yeah. go for someone who's actually going to compliment your life, support you with with that kind of stuff. Like, haven't necessarily found her yet, but yeah. like, I that would be me trying to like wade through the the fake ones. Yeah, okay. It's That's like a trying good- to find someone who's, who's who actually compliments you. And at the end of the day, like, 
if you're happy alone, then it doesn't really matter. Yeah, well, I, I kind of am at the moment, but my my mate told me something good when I used to play soccer. I was like 18 and he had like a wife. I'm like, bro, like, how do you know? Mm. It's like they, if they don't make you better, then what's the purpose of being with them? Literally. And I was exactly. like, that sounded r- really ruthless at the time. But then when as I got older, I'm like, fuck, it actually makes sense. Yeah. I do. I, I am envious of, of people in relationships staying in. I think it's in, better than being single. On a Saturday I, I think night. being in a good relationship is better than being single. My I'll mate preface. just, he, he, he just rubs it in my face. Like he'll, he'll go to bed 9 p.m. on a Saturday. Just and cuddling. then when I wake up with a ra- Raging hangover on the yeah. Sunday, he calls me. He's like, "Oh, how's the head? Oh, mate. oh, what have you done? <laughs> oh no, oh, you fuck idiot! Off, it's like fuck off. You'd be doing it too, yeah, you prick. Yeah, you just got to leave the jackpot, bastard. you bastard. <laughs> yeah, <literally. laughs> oh, mate. So, what's what? Do you have a ceiling with the running, the running stuff? Do you have an end goal, or are you day to day? Picking mm. up ideas, or do you, are you kind of thinking longer yeah. term with it? I mean, I, I'm making no money off it other than sponsorships. So, like, yeah. I don't sell programs. I don't sell. Will you? Like, do you think? I will eventually. Yeah, I hope so you do. Because I, I you will. Just, yeah, like I think it's valuable what you're putting out. I think at the moment, though, I just want to build the the trust from from consumers, from followers. Um, so for as long as I can, I'm going to hold out uh, before I start charging for things. So my goal is to just affect as many lives as possible. And, and it's going well at the moment. Um, but then long term wise, yeah, I'd, I'd love to come out with, you know, an app or like some kind of thing that is is a lot more general and global, oh, you know. Wow, so that would be major. like Couch to 5K is pretty cool. Um, oh, like wow. the Garmin coach, that's cool. So if you can, if I can create something that is going to help people and, and not just, you know, 14 year old boys, like I want to help like 50 year old mums. Um, and, and so on. I've had some incredible opportunities lately. Like firstly, like meeting with Nick Crocker, just to, just literally just to, to pick his brains. Then I, I met with, um, a Sam Wood who does 28 by Sam. Yeah. Wood. Like, mate, these people, they think on a different level. So mm. trying to kind of emulate them to some extent, um, and, and, and figure out their path and kind of go with that blueprint, but then mold it and do it in, in my right, own right. way. So that's the goal. It's a kind of an answer without saying anything. Mate, that but would be fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, pretty cool when you meet like really like-minded people, hey. Yeah. It, and just the way and they you, think. The way, they, the way you attract them is by mm. like putting yourself out there. Totally. And, and like act, just being ruthless with it. Like, hey, ruthless. mate, really rate what you do. I'd love you, for you to mentor me. Yeah, I'd love to pick your brains about something. And then you go and have the coffee, you have the, the lunch or whatever, and you come out of it like, like shit, I yeah. can I can actually do this. this. Is the first time I felt like I can I can make it. You know, a lot of um a lot of successful people that I know that have like made a lot of money or doing something really different and unique that's like helping people's lives. Mm. They're the ones that always say yes to people asking them to like help, like or, or at least like, hey man, can I take you for a coffee? Like they don't really say no. Mm, exactly, it's crazy. I think they get a real kick. Th- those the the uber successful, like the the ultra successful individuals, get a huge kick out of us out of seeing a younger version of them. Mm like with that go get attitude and like want to approach kind of thing or want to like, you know, take it on. They get a huge kick out of seeing someone like that and they will, they'll help like right till the end. Tremendous. Those kind of people. Fuck man. It's pretty big. It's mm. pretty big. What's See, happening? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to, great chat. I'm going to round out. Um, we have a, like a kind of a running question on the podcast. Mm. We test three traits to success, business, Ooh. life, sport, whatever Strong. it is. Um, all are really important, but I want to get the one that, sort of resonates the most with you out of resilience, drive and ambition. What's sort of been critical from um, for Louis Phillips? Yeah, it's definitely resilience, like a hundred percent. I've been making content for four years and I've always been kind of the third person out of the three. I've mm. been like in terms of Gab, Tom and, and myself, or even just Gab and I, like I've been the smaller one taking the photos of people and like in the background. So I always felt like it would come and it's, it's coming now, but um, definitely resilience, just sticking around and, and trying to stick with it. Mate, you're a champion. I love everything about you. love what you're doing. Appreciate love it. how you talk about dating. It fascinates me. Yeah. Um, but, mate, keep going. I love watching it. Appreciate it. Thanks, Jackie. Thanks for coming on. Love it, mate.